Hi Virgo, welcome back this week and I hope you're well. I'm just trying to make the picture a little bit bigger so that you can see the beautiful cards. And hello my Spotify's and my Tumblr followers. I hope you're all well. This is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of January 2023. It, um, it might look a little bit dark because it is dark and it's raining and blistering, and blistering with the wind outside. So I'm using false light, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, you come in with the death card. And the death card means you are in transition and transformation. So there is a face closing off in your life. This could be um, a, a project that you have finished. That could be that you are transcending to a better version of yourself as you are no longer the caterpillar, but you're the butterfly. So reach for the sky and fly and feel free and go into the new face with more knowledge, life knowledge and life experience and um, you have been gathering. You are a better version of yourself. Don't worry too much because this is not a real death. The death card also represents Scorpio and Scorpio uh, could be around you or you could be coming into your life, a new friend, a new partner. Or perhaps it could be somebody already around you that's prominent that will become a special person that you can learn from or that you fall in love with. The hanged man is here on Monday, the beginning of the week, and something could be it delays or suspended. So perhaps your transition could be delayed because you are still finishing off certain things. Like I said in 2022, please try to um, let go of the negativity and of the old, but learn from it so that you don't repeat the same mistake. But some of us are still in transition into the new year and also into a new phase. The hanged man hung himself this way. That was his choice because he wanted to meditate in a different way to get also a different experience on what it is like to hang upside down. Also gaining a different perspective on things. You might be doing this, taking time out to contemplate, meditate and evaluate. You, the, I know you can't see it here, but usually um, the position of the leg in this way, the left leg, means that there is a delay. It can be from four hours to four months. Also having a bird's eye view. So try to look at the big picture of things to get the right perspective. You can come down, if you've taken time out, then you can come back into action anytime. But sometimes we have delays that are caused by third parties. Just use this, this delay or suspension, suspending time to your own advantage in gaining knowledge and getting the right perspective. Otherwise, come back into action and start taking your plans into action. Also, we've got the King of Wands, which is a lady, and I've changed the men to ladies because you get four kings that are ladies. And this is what I, I wanted to show you, that it is not the king that it has to be a man. The king can also be um, a woman. It is the status of the king that is significant. The king is the highest uh, before we go to be empress. Because our journey begins at the fall and ends at the judgment card from 0 to 21. And the king has already um, um, done his journey. We've got the 1 to the uh, 10 and then the jack or the page, knight, queen, king. And those are the states, uh, status symbols of the, our emotions, our intuitions. It represents uh, the face and other face 
in our lives that we have to go to. Some of us might have already reached the, um, the status of the king. This could be the king of wands or the king of pentacles in business that were great in business, that were very strategic and we have our emotions under control. Just look at the tarot a card and see who you are. Are you the page? Are you the knight? Are you the queen or the king? The king has ultimate control over his emotions. He puts his business head on his shoulders when he has to do business, like the king of wands usually does. He goes for what he wants and he keeps his emotions under control. He doesn't let his heart rule his mind or his mind his heart. He gets a very clear picture. He's um, creative in getting what he wants and goes for it, takes this plan into action. Also, you could be dealing with an Aries, as the king represents Aries, but don't forget Leo or Sagittarius. Also, this week we will be going into a different sign, and that will be Aquarius, so we will be going into a swift energy, as they also are swift. So get ready um, and be steadfast as things will speed up a little bit. The, this king, this person, Aries or um, Leo or Sagittarius could be coming into your life and could be um, very passionate. This could be also that you could be taking a page out of his book and being more passionate about something and going for what you want. You are also very creative, as uh, the ones stand for creativity. So you might even start a new hobby. We've got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So this could be a person that could be coming in, or this could be Aquarius time. Definitely news is coming in, and you're ready. And look at her, she's on an angel feather flying through the sky and being in balance. You could be writing or communicating uh, with um, any of these signs or, or the ones that I've named. Also, you will be could be getting news. This news can be, come through email, text message or telephone call. It could even be somebody from another country because cyber it makes the world smaller, yet it is so big. Also, be careful how you communicate because you will catch more flies with honey than with um, vinegar. Be very strategic in what you say and also um, being as sharp as a point of a sword being, being able to think clearly on your feet this week so that you can overcome difficult periods like when there are delays or suspensions and you might feel in, in, in trapped or out of sorts at the weekend because of look at her skirt. We've got a rose here in a, a cage that is made by a willow twigs or steel. And this means that at the end of the week, you could be feeling trapped. Don't feel trapped. Don't stagnate. Don't, you know, um, don't sit around. Don't be scared to ask for help. You've got the windows of an institution here. So you could be hearing from an institution if you've sought help. This can be a bank. This can be a finance broker, bookkeeper. This could be a mediator or um, a social worker. This could be a teacher. Gaining knowledge is also uh, represented um, by the swords. Definitely something that will enhance your um, intelligence, your life knowledge and your life experience. You might want to branch out. Look at her hair. Yes, you can branch out. But you might not have the finances because the five of pentacles means that you might not be, be able to balance your finances. So ask for somebody, a teacher or perhaps a father figure, somebody that is very logical, strategic and knows 
um, how to keep their emotions and uh, in order and balanced and also their books. After all, he is a very, very astute and um, agile and flexible um, person that um, will be strategic in planning on balancing the books. You might feel left out by a, a group of friends or family. Don't stand up, dust yourself off and ask for help. Perhaps you might need some explanation on how to balance your finances. But definitely there could be news about finances. This could come from institutions as well, as the swords stand for municipalities and institutions. Perhaps you might have applied for a grant to, uh, to do a study, or you might have applied for a loan to buy that house. But you are very strategic and you will have the right perspective if you do it the right way and ask for help. As the sun is shining on you, you've got number one and the sun is shining. Look, she's sitting on the edge of the pool. So you might not have all, you haven't got the full here, but you are sitting on the edge. So stop sitting on the edge or on the fence, as I've got a feeling this can also represent the fence. Make a decision and make the choice that is good and right for you so that you can branch out so that you can spread your wings as I said like the butterfly you're no more the um, um, the caterpillar so if you want to fly free and then spread your wings like her hair is spreading um, branches is growing branches you might be branching out but don't be scared to ask for help, even if it is by um, doing something like typing or gaining knowledge or seeking knowledge or being strategic and plan um, the right way to start your own business or um, branching out in your business. Five means that you're halfway there, um, but also big changes are coming in. So it's also confirming the death card that change is here. Now the sun is shining on you. So definitely um, you um, in this deck, the Oracle deck, the sun represents new beginnings and great creativity and also blessings. Also this is means that time is fertile to start something new. Also, it means that you and there is the flip side to the sun, like the moon and the star. So do your research before you sign any legal papers. As we have um, the Knight of Swords here, you are uh, okay in keeping your emotions under control, but you're not the queen or the king yet, so you still got a lot to learn. With the sun, it means that you can create your uh, path and also be able to branch out. But also, when you're in the spotlight, there is illumination. So make sure that you uh, do your research. Okay. If you want to get pregnant, you could be getting uh, uh, pregnant. But if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precaution. You see the little baby here. And you see the book here in gaining knowledge and the horn of plenty. Also, she feels that she's in the warmth of the sun. So, yes, if there is sunshine, then go out and bathe yourself in the sun. It's also good for the body, not only for the mind. We've got a hidden cage here, a bird cage. So don't feel imprisoned. There's a lot like a skirt. You can't see it because it's very, very small. I'll to see whether you can see it there. You can just about see it there. Third cage. So enjoy the waters, but discover. Discover. Number one means newness. The sun brings blessings to the earth, and this card 
portents, blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. Also, usually when I see the sun uh, in a tarot card, not an oracle card, um, I feel it represents Leo. So I will stick to that as well because somebody said, remember Leo. And I would like to say to that person, yes, thank you for the information, but it is not a tarot card, my darling. It's somebody from the other side. We also have children, so this does mean that time is fertile. So if you want to start a family, then please try. Know that the angels and the divine is with you. If you're too mature, you could be finding out that you're becoming a grandfather or an aunt or an uncle or a grandmother or um, with the son here, an aunt or an uncle, whatever. Children. In, with regards to relationship and romance, children, you love life is being, your lo love life is being affected by children. That could be because some of us haven't got any children yet and both of you would like to start a family. Also, there could be children and they could be irritating and demanding as their children usually are. Also, I would say, let your inner child out and also, don't be too serious like the king of wands. Feel free. Like I said, she's flying on an angel feather and a caterpillar with the butterfly. So be, don't be scared to spread your wings. We also have the bloom number five and it's a pink card. This lady did exist actually. She was a great artist. I forgot what her name is. But she uh, went through life with a lot of pain, but yet created so much beauty. She's from Chile, I believe. Um, so have a look on the artists um, that come from Chile. Number five again. So you've got two fives here. Big changes and you're halfway there. So to try and bloom means that you could be blossoming. Look at the flowers on her dress. Also, flowers is, very, is all over the place with you. The king is a flower, like a rose, and we've got a rose here. So don't be scared to bloom. Be the beacon of happiness and gratitude and nurture yourself a little bit. Have self-confidence. And be feminine. Let your nurturing side, the feminine side, come out. Whether you're a lady or a man. And also, fulfill your own wishes. Like the King of Wands. As this card also means individual fulfillment. A woman gazes into your eyes with pride and self-confidence. She knows what she wants and this certainty blooms out of her being like a bountiful garden. Her hair is thick like the branches of trees, reaching out for controlled abandonment. The power of nature surrounds her, flowing both into her and out from her. What would it be like to feel disconnected and confident? And also the King of Wands in is a person that is extremely confident. What could you accomplish? Your inner strength blossoms into the future achievements. Like I said, you're in transformation and transition. So, in other words, nurture yourself a little bit more, then you can nurture and love others. Also take pride in what you have achieved already and not what you haven't achieved yet. Because that is how you start putting yourself down and you will feel out of sorts. So come out and play your inner child. But also um, be 
serious and business-like like the King of Wands when you need to be. Be open to receive and to learn. And don't be scared to ask for help. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, my beautiful Virgos, and believe in yourself. Take care. And now I'm going on to the extended uh, reading for the paying members. If you would like to join, then have a look at the word join or in the description box. And that's where you can find the link to join and to see what perks you can have. Thank you to those that for your extra support. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Amen.